Hi and welcome to another Type with Me. This week I want to talk about single file components script setup with Vue.js, right? And why do I want to talk about it? Well, it's something very new in Vue 3 and I really like it. It really removes a lot of boilerplate code and it's very easy to start using it within to your own app so i'm gonna show you a little bit of an example how i turn around and change my single file component of view.js towards the new syntax script setup so last week i talked about um the pinia store within view.js right we created or we had something like an hello world here right and I created a use counter store. So that's already nice. You see here that we have a props message uh, type string required, right? We have here a defined component. Well, this is a lot of part of pre code, right? We have here our method setup. Would it not be nice to have something like this? A script language TS setup, all right? And then, of course, what we want to do is we want to remove this uh, setup function and we want to have also our props, right? So we want to define our props. So first of all, how can we define our props? Well, we can very easily do that. I do define props. And then we can, uh, of course, just copy paste this, right? I'm going to remove it here. I'm going to put it here. And then that's it. We have defined our props. Of course, I need to import it from here. Otherwise, it will not work, right? Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to put this out. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put it here. And I don't need to return a store because I just have defined const store. So now I can just have access to that in my template. And that's it, right? We now have removed a lot of code. And this is just the code that we need to it in our script, like TS TypeScript uh, setup. So, like I said, it removes a lot of. Uh, boilerplate code it's very easy typescript friendly to use so i really like that and then of course here we can just use uh, msg right so that's it to just change your view.js code within the uh, script setup kind of thing right so if we run it, and that's something that I found a little bit yeah, weird, but okay, it's, it's totally fine, is that uh, you don't need to define define property. So you don't need to import it. So you will see uh, if we uh, run this and execute this, that uh, we get that message from uh, npm run dev, right? So uh, let's go to, to this URL. Going to this URL, right? It's working. And still, we can very easily do our count, right? And then we get some info from the compiler single file component define props is a compiler micro and no longer needs to be imported. So we're gonna remove it from there. Another thing that's nice to know is that you can also define. Uh, emits so if you click on something and you want to broadcast it to other components well you can very easily do this and do define emits and then here you can just define them right it's the same thing that that you just do when you do an export of your of your defined components you just do it in the define emits and then you have it right So that's another thing that's 
very important to know if you're going to use this kind of syntactical sugar uh, like, like setup. Um, then of course another thing that you maybe were wondering was yeah, well that's already nice that you can do it like this but we are in TypeScript right so it would be nicer to do it like this right we can do this uh, of course we can define our props and we can define it like this so I can do MS chain and then it's of type swing and it's required right and then our property bar is not required and it's a number. So that's something that you also could do. And we can just uh, yeah, remove, remove the other one. Personally, I like this more because of course, then you really are gonna use the power of TypeScript. And yeah, you, you, you are working with that a little bit more, right? Also, if you are defining your emits, I also like this kind of style because then if you want to perform an emit then you just say emit change you provide a number there and yeah you just return a void right so uh, if you're going to look at this you will see that this that this just works so here we go we have everything there that we want to have right and imagine that we just want to add something else I don't know um, uh, something like a button that's providing you um, with some text or, or something like that. Well, we can very easily uh, create that. So I'm gonna create a component, uh, put it on this page, and then gonna we're gonna work a little bit with that, right? So like I said, I'm gonna create a button, uh, a component, uh, something. view right and then of course I want to have template like this so I'm gonna have a template here and then of course I want to have uh, scripts one is TypeScript because we love TypeScript, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you would not be here. And then I'm just gonna do something like this this, and this, and then I'm gonna create a button. I want to define define emits and like I said before and that's something I'm just gonna copy and paste from here uh, so I'm gonna go here and say here change or something like that I don't know or update well I like the update But the value needs to be a number. And every time I click on it, I'm gonna paste a value. And I just need to import a ref from. Yeah, it's not what I want. from view and that needs to be here great so now we have something like this then if I do here const delete we 
you see here everything that we create here as a const is accessible within your template which is also great to know right um so now i want to do value dot value plus plus and then i want to do something like this dot and Now here we can very easily remove this and we just have access to emit. We can very easily do uh, emit and date and then value dot value. Right. We save this one. So if we now go to our hello world, we can very easily add something here, right? So I'm gonna add it right here, something here, right? Something here. I need to close this one. Of course, I need to import it, so I import it something here from slash something here view. And then here I can do add update equals. Um, update which is a method I'm going to create right here I can remove this one right so I can do const update still create that you are here right <laughs> um, so we have a value right here and I'm going to just do console.log Actually, we can make it much smaller. Right? We can do something like this. I'm going to save this one, and we are going to see how this looks like within the browser. So, if we're going to look into the browser, I'm going to refresh it, and you see here something here. You can just very easily click on it, right? And then you will see that, yeah, we have our console.log. If we click on it here, you will see here that it goes to the to the line that you need to have. Uh, in my opinion, um, this kind of approach is very powerful. A lot of boilerplate code can be removed. You can concentrate yourself on the components. And something very great from Vue3.js, or if you are in Vue2, you can just use the composition API, but I don't think you can use it separate. It's something very specific, I guess, for, for uh, uh, view three i'm not sure but i think so uh, thank you very much for watching this i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you're going to use this in your next uh, front-end application thank you very much and see you next time